one last time, hat picks. For the final time this season, welcome to another edition of Hat Picks, where we look at the best from around the NHL over this past week. What happened over this past week? Well, someone won the Stanley Cup, so we're gonna talk about that a little bit. Let's talk about the lead up as well. And I gotta say, our first hat pick goes to the mayor of Tampa, who just, what was it, a couple days ago? Was it yesterday? We made the opening dang it, because she said, Hey, maybe the Lightning can take it easy on the Montreal Canadiens. They lose game four so that they can win at home in game five. And what happens? Tampa loses game four. That's a dang it. You have a chance to put the Habs away. You take it. Take it from me. Allow them to win one at home and then bring it back to the Amelie Arena for the final and the winning of the Stanley Cup. But man, she called her shot. And the Lightning win in front of a packed barn after winning in front of arena, uh, an arena full of nobody just a few months ago, September 28th. It's amazing what a difference just a few months make. That is a huge hat pick. Now, for actual plays that were on the ice, not every hat pick has to be overly complicated. Sometimes it's the short and sweet and simple stuff. Here's Nikita Kucherov from game one. Just a snipe. Tribute to John Cooper. Face-off win to Kucherov, scores! And he has double-dipped here in the third. And this one, just an absolute rocket from Kucherov. The stick of Petrie's got to get in there quickly. If you're going to close the gap, you can't allow that shot to happen. The stick a little bit late, and the glove of Carey Price sliding across Kucherov. You often think, okay, maybe he's gonna pass this one though. No hesitation, quick release. You know what's amazing that Carey Price got criticized for his play early in the series when that is the sort of shot he was facing. How about this from Nikita Kucherov? Everyone, oh, the cap, the cap. Listen, how about this? He recovered from surgery after not playing any regular season games. What, what, what part of, okay, let's say the Lightning did cheat, okay? Let's say they did cheat. What, what kind of strategy is sitting out a former MVP not letting him play any games in the regular season? Even if he is healthy, how is he going to be game ready? It's a legitimate question, how is he going to be game ready? Well, guess what? 23 Stanley Cup playoff games, 8 goals, 24 assists, 32 points. A new record, by the way, for players who never played a single regular season game. Say what you want about a shirtless comment after winning the Stanley Cup, but this goal and that performance that's a hat pick now our next hat pick isn't just an amazing goal but it is a moment that swung the entire series montreal was i thought dominating tampa bay they were at very least outplaying them in tampa with an opportunity to tie the series at one game apiece in game two. With less than five seconds to go in the second period, Barclay Goodrow takes the puck off of Ben Sherratt and watch this. Goodrow, maybe one last chance. Centers, scores! They beat the buzzer! And it's Blake Coleman! A back-breaking goal here for the Lakers. Chris, I've talked about matchups so often, and you've got the right four people out on the ice. There's the clock above. No question that this one's going to count. Sherratt and Weber on the back end. You've got Deneau in a position with Stahl and Toffoli, but this is something that just can't happen. How about the effort, though, of Coleman? Just gives his body up, makes sure, watch his hands. All he's concerned about is swinging on that one. You've got a defender in Deneau trying to come back and knock it to the left. Coleman gets enough of it to get it back towards the net and it goes underneath the blocker of Price. This dude does it again! Blake Coleman with at least the third diving goal of his career. I'm pretty sure they've all been hat picks. There was last year's diving goal set up by Zach Bogosian in the bubble. You might remember that one. What you might not remember is the one-handed goal Blake Coleman scored when he was still with the New Jersey Devils. Blake Coleman is a decent goal scorer. He's not one of the better ones in the league, though. But when he snipes, it's a thing of beauty. How is that your signature move? That's superhero stuff. That. Oh, it's a hat pick. Now, these hat picks don't entirely belong to the Tampa Bay Lightning. I don't care if they're the Stanley Cup champions or not. The Montreal Canadiens 
earned their way here largely on the back of Carey Price. Here's a paddle save and a beauty. The shoulder check by Kotkaniemi. Colton intercepted, loose in front. Turnyakin, a good on the line, knocked away. Big stop, Price. It's a like to come close again. And can give his team confidence. So how about this? Right off the blocker and part of the stick, and then it goes off. Kotkaniemi, it's sliding in. He has a good presence of mind to clear it off, but he clears it right to Colton. But look at the effort. Just drop the stick, get his quickly as he can to the post right here after this drops the stick gets tight it's one thing to stop a shot that you're prepared for it's another to stop a bouncing rubber puck on the fly the puck going off of limbs going off all sorts of people in front friendly fire or not and Carey Price reaches back and swats it out of the blue paint I know if you look at the score in this clip it's two nothing for the lightning but Price held the Habs in and did his best this save is a hat pick. Now, of course, Montreal's amazing defensive performance throughout these Stanley Cup playoffs were not just Carey Price making a bunch of saves. They had this unbelievable defensive structure, and what allowed that was Philip Deneau being arguably the best defensive center, the best defensive forward in these playoffs. Now, he didn't score very much, but that also wasn't his job. He had a big assist on an OT winner, and his only goal was a snipe. He knows how to score. It's a guard with a chance. And back the other way comes to know He's got Gallagher breaking to know over the line. Scores! Phil Deneau's got his first of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Chris, a line that's been called on try to get some offense if you're not going to have a checking game you got to get at the other end transition game here a good save by price but watch the middle of the ice this is gallagher who creates so much of this coming to the net you know that gets into the head of vasilevsky he's got some arc with him and this little quick wrister up and over the blocker and off the post and in we saw caulfield earlier go off the post and out the other side Deneau with the quick hesitation, the quick little wrister, gets it up high and wide enough. Oh yeah, just top corner on Andre Vasilevsky. Come on, man. Where were you hiding that? Unreal shot, unreal goal. Not bad for a first and only in these playoffs. That is a hat pick. We had to feature it because it's, it's not easy to make a hat pick out of, hey, look, he shadowed this guy. People who play the role that Philip Deneau does don't get the credit they deserve. And even if they do, they don't really get it on video. So here we go for Philip Deneau. Another Habs goal that sort of went under the radar here. Montreal ended up losing this game, but they came close as a result of Corey Perry with this turn back the clock snipe. On in the slot, Gallagher swung it wide. Perry's the man that came on for Price and scores! Over the shoulder and gets one back. Well, that goal forced an early pull by Don Ducharme to get the extra attacker. And the guy with the most Stanley Cup final points for the Montreal Canadiens, Corey Perry, comes up, gets down on the rebound. Curls back and from a really tough angle, right up and over the shoulder of Vasilevsky. There's only about two inches of room up there, and he's able to find it. Look at the reaction of Vasilevsky. Tried to even get his head tight up against the post, but that's a perfect shot. Pinpoint precision Perry. And you know what? Perhaps I should take that back. Vintage nothing. Corey Perry was in the Stanley Cup final this season. He was in the Stanley Cup final last season. This dude's not vintage. He's still here. That goal, his performance, the, the way he battled, what a hat pick. And our last Habs hat pick for this video, Josh Anderson, when he's on, when he has his takeover game, and he had at least one per series, oh, is he a force of nature. He scored a goal earlier in this game, and in overtime, he would not be denied. Watch this gronk of an effort. The way from him, chips it past Ruben. He's got Caulfield in front. And the center play, Caulfield. Anderson scores! Josh Anderson extends the series. Canadians stay alive, and there it will be game five.
First goal of the night for Josh Anderson. Last goal of the night for Josh Anderson. And the series goes back to Tampa Bay. You know, the penalty kill did their job, and now Anderson, who hasn't been playing for a while because of it, watch the play, the play he makes in the defensive zone. Lifts the stick of board, uses his best skill, which is his speed, but the key, he doesn't go by the net. Stops on the net, gets to it before Ruta can. Caulfield keeps it alive in front. The speed of Anderson made this possible, but him stopping and getting back to the front of the net makes that goal happen. Kept the play alive right here with a little tip back off of the stick of Yanni Gord and then diving back. Josh Anderson sends this back to Tampa. There were so many points throughout that whole sequence where he could have lost the puck, could have bobbled it, could have caught an edge, could have fell down, could have could have lost the battle, but he didn't. And he scores at a crucial point to keep the Montreal Canadian season alive that right there is a hat pick and incidentally the final goal of the Montreal Canadian season the final goal of the NHL season won the Tampa Bay Lightning the cup and it's our final hat pick a rookie Ross Colton take it away and it comes loose for McDonough Ryan McDonough across here comes a chance to first goals it is the rookie Ross Colton that for Colton. You've got all the bodies on the side and Corey Perry gets involved. That's his D-man on the other side and instead he gets to the outside. What a play. Coming down from the right side. McDonough knows that he's got the outlet in Savard and Savard tape to tape. Go to the net, get your stick on the ice. Good things happen and for Ross Colton couldn't be a bigger one than that. His first Stanley Cup final goal Gives the Tampa Bay Lightning in the crowd that was getting a little anxious an opportunity to get on their feet. A fourth round pick from 2016, Ross Colton was a rookie in the NHL this season. Nine goals in the regular season, four goals in the Stanley Cup playoffs, including this one. That's 13 career NHL goals, and one of them won the Stanley Cup. That's why you watch the games. Ross Colton with one I think he'll remember that is a hat pick. I guess it's the hat pick, isn't it? Before we go, I wanna give a huge congratulations to the Tampa Bay Lightning, their second Stanley Cup in about 280 days. They won it on September 28th, 2020, and we fast forward all the way to July 7th, 2021. Two cups, one in front of a building filled with nobody, and another in front of a packed barn. Oh, and uh, Steven Stamkos in the lineup. Should have mentioned that. What a hat pick. And the Montreal Canadiens, the story's been told a thousand times, but they finished 18th in the regular season, literally bottom half of the league, and they fight and they battle, and they were an impossible team to put down for some blue and white teams anyway. They get all the way to the Stanley Cup Final for the first time since 1993. They gave the Montreal Canadiens fan base, arguably the most historic in the sport, something to cheer about. That's a hat pick. And our last hat pick goes to you the viewer thank you so much for watching everything that we've put out silly and whatever throughout this season uh we literally would not make these without you if no one watched why would we make them that'd, that'd be ridiculous right drew am i right drew you nodded you're not here you're in brampton okay it has not been easy to do all of these alone in my room i dearly miss producer drew and the digital crew at sportsnet but we think we did a decent job and we're happy that you watched along with us. But now we say goodbye and we'll be back in 12 weeks or something like that when the new NHL season begins. And by we'll be back, I mean, I'm about to shoot like 10 trade trees over the next couple weeks. And there's gonna be a bunch of other videos on this channel. I'm not I'm not going anywhere. It's just hat picks are. So you, you won't miss me. But for now, that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really like to tell your friends. Two cups in 280, what was it, 283 days? I don't think that's ever getting broken. I hope not.